This is one of the signals scheduled to be removed about a year ago. Since then, neighbors have brought concerns to the mayor, leading to a policy that would allow certain signals to be exempt from removal. Traffic studies using federal guidelines didn't meet any of the criteria to keep this signal at 51st and Farnham, but now Omaha's new policy lets the mayor make that call. It allows for some discretion and it also allows for much better improved communication um, with the citizens, with the residents around the area, and also with the city council. Mayor Jean Stothert met with concerned residents as the city evaluates 1,000 outdated signals over the next 10 years. Federal funds make up 80 to 90 percent of the $35 million plan. We understand that federal funds have strings attached to it sometimes, but it didn't necessarily, these warrants did not take account uh, the needs of the neighborhood. The new six-step policy will be used immediately. Improving travel, uh, improving safety, um, letting them talk to each other, being much more efficient, being able to tell like that if a light goes out. Of the 100 signals evaluated so far, Stothert also kept signals at 108th and Oak and this one at 52nd in Chicago, down the street from Dundee Elementary. So we're hopeful that this change from the mayor will help other schools and other parents and school districts across the, the city of Omaha to not have to go through the fight we went through to save the crosswalks that their kids use. The policy will not apply to roadway construction improvement projects. And Dundee, Chindon, KETV Newswatch 7.